Hey viewers, you're welcome to Living Word Vlogs. This is the channel where we dispense and talk about the truth of God's word through the mouth of his able ministers that he has ordained for this generation. We are bringing to your viewing what Apostle Joshua Selman talked about. Apostle Joshua Selman is the lead pastor of Eternity Network International, popularly known as Koinonia. He talked about a very powerful message whereby he told us the three channels in which God helps men. One of the channel is that according to him that God shows men help through the mercy of God. God shows men help through the mercy of God. He explained expressly on how God shows men through the mercy of God. Secondly, he talked about how the gifts of men can be a form of help from God to men because God uses men to help men. God will not come down from heaven to help men, but he uses men to help men. If this is your first time on this channel, I would enjoy you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Happy viewing. In the name of the Lord. Now, according to scripture, there are three principal ways that helps come to the believer. God sends help through these channels and i'll talk about just one of them but i'll list all three for you number one the first way god helps men is through his mercy the mercy of god is one of the scriptural ways that men obtain help from god i wish we had time we would have done a teaching on the mercy of god it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the lord that helps by showing mercy hmm. when god shows a man mercy it opens that man the 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 remember when jesus was passing jericho the bible says there was a man there called blind Bartimaeus. he had been blind from birth and he did not know so much but the one thing he understood he shouted it with all his heart. Thou son of David, he never said heal me. He said have mercy on me. He said it the more and he attracted the attention of Jesus and he received his sight. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I don't know so much about you. I don't even know your name. But the one thing I know is that you are a merciful God. Do you know that the mercy of God was such a formula that the nation of Israel, they were taught that when they were surrounded by their enemies and defeat was imminent, they would shield their swords and, began, and begin to sing, you are good and your mercies end. It was not a song. It was a formula in the spirit that every time all options fail, begin to invoke the mercy of God that was what happened in the days of Jehoshaphat you are good and your mercies endure forever God's mercy is so powerful that it was connected to time it is renewed every morning it's in your Bible is that true hmm. the mercy of God the mercy of God most believers think that the subject of mercy is only within the jurisdiction of sinners. No. Granting pardon is just one dimension of mercy. Are we together now? Yes. I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy on and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion on. When you find a man who has attracted the mercy of God upon his life. In fact, did you know that favor only comes when it finds mercy already there? If mercy does not find favor there, I mean, if favor does not find mercy there, it will not go. It is mercy that attracts favor to come. Is it not in your Bible? Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Not because Zion needed mercy, the time to favor her but mercy must first precede yea the set time is come when he arises to favor you he first shows you mercy 
it is even the mercy of God that sponsors encounters. It says, below the cherubims, above the mercy seat, there I will meet with you and I will come in with you face to face. Hmm. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that are Hearts always hunger. Oh, our hearts always hunger. The mercy of God is mysteriously powerful. When a believer receives the mercy of God, you know, um, respectfully speaking, I will tell you, as I look at my life and look at the things that God has done and then that which he does in the life of others, beyond grace beyond achievement all i see is his mercy happy is the man that has found mercy before god your life becomes a mystery a living epistle you will know it becomes clear are we together now yes this is an orientation you must have tonight that for your destiny to ever be actualized if you must rise to a place where your life becomes an effulgence of god's glory you cannot ignore the help of god and that the first way god helps men is by showing them mercy someone say mercy yes. say it with understanding yes. the call for mercy is not for weak people the call for mercy is for wise people men who understand that outside of the assistance of heaven there is a limitation we have a system of advantage programmed in our work with god the first of them is the mercy of god number two very quickly for sake of time how does god show men help the second way that the lord helps men to rise and to accelerate is through the gift of men the second way god helps men is through men please do not forget this teaching men men strategic relationships i did teach you i think it was yesterday or this morning that there are three kinds of relationships general relationships seasonal relationships covenant or destiny relationships and I told you that when God wants to help a man, God will bring destiny helpers to your life. Men ordained, please listen, men commissioned and mandated to support your rising. They are not people who freelance into your life. They may not even know they were called, but they were ordained by God. That was the mistake that was the predicament the real problem of the man at bethesda was not his limitation it was the absence of help through the ministry of men mercy was already there by the the pool but the second level of help was not there and so he was even in it one push into the pool and he remained there for 38 years mercy abundant but the absence of men when jesus came and said what is your problem he said my problem is there is mercy but i have no man i have no man meaning everyone who enjoyed that mercy was supported by the ministry of men jesus is on his way to golgotha as prophecy said would be and the bible tells us that he was so weak from the bleeding that has had come from his body he collapsed on the way jesus your jesus did not have the strength by himself even though the word of god now in the flesh now he had become the embodiment of sin he did not have the strength to go down to golgotha with the cross and he collapsed there i hope you realize that if jesus died on the ground he could not save your sin because it is written cursed is he that hangeth on the tree that the blessings of abraham might come upon the gentiles to the end that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith that's what the bible teaches so if jesus fell on the ground he would just be an innocent man who was victimized till he died the entire purpose of his death will be robbed if you did not hang upon a tree 
but there was help a man was brought to him called simon of cyrene and that man helped him you would think because he was god he said i no. as god he did not need help but when he became a man he needed a man please listen very carefully you are as powerful as the men that god puts around your life to support your journey to greatness i have told you if god says yes and in this world of men men say no your yes remains in the realm of the spirit all blessings come from god through men to men all destructions come from satan through men to men in any case men are the prophetic midwives that can help people to actualize destiny or otherwise are you understanding me the bible talks about a very strange man in the bible called mephibosheth have you heard of that man the man did not commit any crime his only mistake no not a mistake his predicament was because of the carelessness of a midwife that was it and he became crippled for the rest of his life the woman sent to help the safe delivery for whatever reason she made a mistake the bible notes her mistake the mistake of a midwife crippled a man with the potential for a great destiny for life the mistake of a midwife someone say man it's important for you to know how god answers your prayer the moment you pray and ask god start looking around men are like trays in the spirit they come with a buffet of possibilities you need to have that discernment men are powerful the psalmist was contemplating this and he said what is man i would quote it this way what is in man lord what did you hide in man that even man is not aware of men are a compendium of possibilities when you see them come god hides his anointing in men he hides his wisdom in men did your bible not say there is this treasure but that it is hidden in earthen vessels do not forget this teaching that when god wants to help a man to rise to the place of destiny number one he grants you access to his mercy number two gift of men are you ready for number three the third way that god helps men is by the ministry of the holy spirit he is called the helper and i just want to talk for a few minutes here and then we'll wrap up dr andy just began to discuss that so intelligently and powerfully i was so blessed in my spirit i said he, he's already begun the discussion the holy spirit the bible calls him the helper the helper he's many things but my my interest as far as this discussion tonight is concerned is the holy spirit as helper second corinthians chapter three hey hey god's favorite you're welcome back i'm sure you listened attentively to that message and you were greatly blessed by it by knowing the three channels of help at which God sends to men to assist men in this journey of life. Remember the part where Apostle Joshua Selma said something. He said, All blessings from come from God to men through men, and all destructions come from Satan through men to men. In any case, men are the prophetic midwives that can help people to actualize destiny or otherwise so whatever you do according to the scripture the scripture says that we should be good to all men especially to those of the household of faith try your best to be good and be at peace with all men because the bible says without holiness no man shall see the lord God bless you for listening to this message. Kindly like this video, share it, and leave your comments or how blessed you were by this message in the comment section below. Thank you once again for, li for listening. God bless you and bye for now.